Hello everyone, my name is Hao and welcome to Hao Plays Game of Thrones, a Teoteo Games game. Now, it's been a while, we might have even forgotten that I was doing this game. Uh, this is episode 2 now that I'm gonna play in this video. I already played episode 1 as soon as it came out, which was in November of 2014 or something like that. It was a long time ago. And uh, after that, I don't have a good excuse, I don't have a good reason why I didn't play a second episode. I love the game. I really liked it, I enjoyed it, I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan and everything. I love Tales from the Border ones and generally Telltale Games is games, but I, for some reason I didn't play it. It was I was making my transition into my new computer and stuff like that, blah blah blah, excuses. But now it's here, I decided to play it. Uh, episode 2 and Episode 3 are already out, I haven't played them, so I'll be doing both of them now and I will be most likely uploading them in one full video, or well, one episode per video, a very long video, because it's pointless to do an old game like this into parts, just get it done. And then move on to episode 4, which is coming out on the 26th of May. I am recording this video on the 22nd of May, so hopefully you will have seen this in episode 3 before episode 4 comes out, so I can play that and upload it immediately. So yeah, without further ado, let's go into episode 2. Uh, there will be a recap of the story, so hopefully in the beginning, so I don't need to waste any more time talking, because that's obviously not good in a playthrough. <laughs> I've already checked my save file and everything. Um... As you can see, it's there. And I can't seem to be able to start. Oh, okay, see, I'm already failing uh, and I've been playing for like five seconds, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm gonna wait for the recap. Hopefully it's a good one, as usual in Teotel Games. Teotel Games, there we go. And then I'll talk after that. To fill the gaps, if any. These are dark days, I fear. Don't try! <laughs> the North Grove must never be lost. You're sending him to the war? The boy's done nothing wrong! The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. I've decided to name you as my sentinel, Sir Roiland. I'm just worried about my family. The King was not inclined to offer help for your family. Are you willing to risk an alliance with the Crown? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Rasha. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn ward. My lord, if you want a hostage, take me. Uh, uh, no. Don't let them take me. Brutal shit right there. I had forgotten about that. Well, not really, but uh, for fuck's sake, I was so... Uh, pissed the shit out of me <laughs> when it happened. Fuck Ramsey. <laughs> oh, interesting. We're in Essos now. Wow. <laughs> Yunkai. Oh, three days after Daenerys left. Interesting. So this is the exile bro- oh. Whoa, it, it's just me, Beska. <sighs> Took you long enough. The rail's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. Are you Dorne? From Dorne? What the You fuck? can stop pacing. They'll be here soon. This stuff is weak compared to Northern Ale. So this is the one of the sons of the Forrester family, which is the main characters of the game, if you this don't This place remember. could use a good cleaning. I complained to the owner. Is that wine? Or blood? Taste it and find out. Funny. So, uh, this guy was one of the older sons, but... Nice having the place to ourselves, though. As far as I can tell, he got exiled because he fell in love with the rival... Like, his family's rival family's daughter. If you know what I'm saying. 
and there was gonna be war, so instead of going for war, this the father be a nice place before it was abandoned. The father uh, exiled him to Essos. Their losses are gain. Get all our weapons for some reason. They don't. They seem to expect trouble. So. Looks like we weren't the first to rough up the place. I'm just exploring everything because it's fun. That fragrant. I have no idea who that is. I honestly don't know. But let's look at the person. I know, I know. Woman cell sword. Four years fighting by your side and you still can't get over it. Come on, Asha. Quit staring. Let's get to drinking. Ale. Goes in yellow, comes out yellow. Waste time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. I know I do. May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. I'll drink to that. <laughs> You'll drink to anything. That's not a bad Another thing. Another round? Let's get drunk before the inevitable fight that's gonna occur here and people die. <laughs> Which is... I don't know this for a fact, but it's Game of Thrones, so I'm guessing something like that's gonna happen in the first five minutes. Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Uh, Go see if he's still breathing. Who might that be? I have no idea what that is. How's he doing? <laughs> we need him alive to collect his bounty. After that... Who is he? Remind <laughs> me again. What's this fat pig fucker's name? Bazak Zog... <laughs> Something or other. Don't care, really. So long as we get our gold. I don't know him from the books or the series, to be honest. 800 gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? Who needs the best doors when the bad ones are so much more fun? I knew I liked you for a reason. My point is, with enough coin we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. Oh boy. To Ironrath. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? It's all an excuse to tell everyone else what to do. They're still my family. My brothers and sisters. They had nothing to do with it. I suppose that's true. Just remember. We have a good thing here. Just remember they're and all gonna any die. Moment now we're gonna be rich. Yeah. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. Fine. Fine. To us. Aye. To us. I was gonna say when the time is right. But that wasn't W, that was Q. What? This game is giving me mixed signals. And here we go. This is Best the shit. I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking lost legion here? Here we go. Is that Tazal from the Volantis job? Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again. Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings old friends together? Now cut your fucking throats! Tavern's closed. What are you doing here? Where is he? Where's who? The guy behind the counter. Here, 400 dragons. They must be working for the wise masters. 400? And that's all you're getting. No, I wanna... Bounty is 800. You get four. It's more than you deserve. I 
nice. Hey, what? What? Give us 800 and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all sell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of all Valyria. Never heard of you, actually. And we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. No, oh, what the Light. fuck? And we're done with you, too. Don't talk to my men. You just made a huge mistake, Tazel. You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. You're fucking dead. The wise masters will hear how Asher Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, mm -hmm. we were there to deliver swift justice. You're dead and I'm taking so your gold. you steal the money and we get the blame. Ponteos in us! I wanna fight. Flip table. No, play it cool. Not today, I'm afraid. Get down! Oh, Alright, who dies first? Okay, I should have flipped the table. Who wants to dance? She's more badass than you know. Kill them! Now! No, no, no. More like. Here's one! Oh. Am I fighting with knives? Come on! She couldn't pass me! Good time events! Uh -oh. Why is the sword? Uh, okay. This is... No, I missed. No, he, she saved me! Fuck. Oh, why didn't I do that in the first place? Come on! Oh yes, violence! I love it. No, don't kill her. She's nice. No, she's nice. Nice. I'm nicer. I know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just so on point. Fuck you, Ash. Fuck you. Oh. Fazal, cost you get this. Blankies, kill you, bonyos. And perfect. Jesus Christ, what a fucking massacre. Do you know what this reminds me of? Game of Thrones. That brothel in Norvos. Well, blood and bodies. I guess it's a bro. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop. Okay then. Until you and your friend are dead. I'll break your knee then. <laughs> Ouch. I actually felt that myself. It's, it's, ah, fuck. <sighs> no, for fuck's sake. Okay, now is a good time to take the gold and run. Kill them both! No, he just said kill him. No, no, no! Asha! What the fuck are you? Oh, yeah, the uncle. What the gods of fire and fuck? Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Tazal? Yeah, of course he's gone. More on their way. We need to go. Of course I'm gonna get the money. Which is probably empty, there's Come nothing on. inside. So Malcolm. <laughs> wow, I just passed with the money. Damn. Yep, yeah, it's obvious. It's just not gonna happen. We have to keep moving. Malcolm, stop! Asher. I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. What are you doing here? Your brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home. Oh boy. Oh yes! Oh my favorite part. Now in good graphics.
I love this intro, it's just so good. One does not simply talk over this intro, even if it's in a game. The Lost Lords. I'm guessing that refers to Asher. Maybe. Explosive start to the, to the, to the episode, just like in any Telltale Games episode. Who do we have here? Who is that? Oh shit! That's the eldest brother, the one that supposedly died at the Red Wedding. I'm guessing his legs are broken or something because the fucking horse fell on him. Okay. No one expected this. I guess he's the final playable character then. Not reveal ourselves. Damn foresters. Have to be so fucking far away. Oh, he's taking me home. Oh, that's his father, probably. <laughs> ah, fuck's sake. Father. Uh, not what you want to see when you wake up in a wagon full of bodies. That's literally the only thing that in, that's worse than waking up in a bag and a wagon of bodies is to see your father there as well. That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them, Sir Royland? You again! Uh, uh, Who have you got this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a uh, lord. A stable in his bannerman's clothes. Uh, you did this at Duskendale. And you have the fucking soul uh, to try it again. No! I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have Forrester dead. They're Forrester! Look at the colours! Leave! Now! No, oh, no! I'll dump them in the river then! You come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? I, I heard you. Come on, just sheep fucker. Just roll out. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry yourself. <laughs> nice. Seven hours. <laughs> what is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? He's not gonna say anything no matter what it I click me. Oh. Roderick. Roderick? Roderick! By oh, the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! <gasps> Fetch the maester! Roderick! Okay. Well, now we have another heir. I guess the Ethan who died in the first episode was younger than him, so at least we'll have a representative in, the, in their home place now. I did not expect him to be alive, so I'll tell you that. Oh no, he's cutting off my legs! Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh. Jesus. My lord, you should not be awake. Considering you're cutting my legs. The milk of a puppy. Drink. Calm now. Fine. Oh. That's it. You don't want to be awake when that's happening to you. Roderick! My lady! No. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. How is he? Will he live? Let him. <gasps> Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. <laughs> it was a wedding. As it is, he may never walk again. Thanks. No, don't. We Roderick? don't want to see. Yes, sweet. What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. Sorry. This poor woman is gonna be like Catelyn Stark, losing all her children. <laughs> well, some of them.
Oh, he has his legs. Might be a cripple. Oops. I haven't heard that one before. It's nice. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I think oh, I lost you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Are you all right? Come here, sister. So this is like, they're like Rob Stark and Sansa Stark, something like that, or maybe yeah, she's. How bad yeah, is it? She was singing, so she can't be Arya. <laughs> well, the equivalent, of course. That's Mr. what I mean. says your leg may never fully heal. That's fine. And your face. I have another one. Oh, you tell me I don't look good. I wouldn't dare. We need, we need to keep our sense of humor intact in moments like these when we're crippled Roderick, and we almost died. Something you need to know. Oh shit. More Ethan bad news. Is dead. Ethan. Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan offered to go in my place. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan. How could this happen to him? I want to say this. We'll make Ramsey pay for what he did. No, we won't. I promise. We won't. <laughs> Good. If these games are canon to the story, then. Coming to honor Ethan in the Grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. <laughs> you can, Dahlia. I know you can. He has a cool voice. I don't know the actor though. It's been chaos here since he died. It's a bit ridiculous. The White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I will. I know you still need time to heal, but... Be fine, Talia. The council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... Yeah, let's go. Let's do this. I want to go. Me too. Can you even stand? No, but we're going. You could use your leadership. Only one way to find out. This is gonna be awkward. I missed you, brother. It's just normally that's sweet, but when when a sister says this to a brother in, in Game of Roderick? Thrones, it's a bit creepy. I know you can. She doesn't strike me as a type, though. But you never know in this fucking series. <laughs> See, we got this. Nice, and we're not missing any limbs. Wow. The game creators are going soft. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay, never mind. Patrick. Oh, I made one step. I'm fine. One step at a time, you know what they say. Literally. Okay. What's your plan? Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Uh, Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse cart. The damage is done. Yep. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. Wow, I'm getting richer here. It's a long way to the Great Hall. I like it. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. No, but that's weak as well. Please, Roderick. No. I have to do this on my own. All right. I mean, my little sister helping me is not exactly a sign of strength. <laughs> In my eyes, at least. 
Okay, let's use this shit. Oh, I think it said Ethan on it, so it's not shit. Let's 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 show respect to the dead. So I was thinking, speaking of the dead and Ethan. Apparently, no matter what you do in the first episode, I forgot to mention this. Ramsey kills him. The hard part. It's ridiculous. There's no way to avoid Ethan dying. That's a bit annoying, but oh well. No, no, no. Okay. I honestly can't do anything to help you, other than press W. You're really doing it. Yeah, damn right I am. Everyone will be so glad to see you up, though I think you'll find that much has changed. Yeah, my brother and father are dead. What else is new? I mean, it can't be any worse than that. Oh, interesting. Oh, this is where the stable boy, um, Dung uh, Garrett, Garrett. He's going to Castle Black because he killed the those uh, Frey guys in the beginning, I remember that, and he got exiled. Oh, so we're gonna meet Jon Snow now, probably. Interesting. He's not the Lord Commander, though. Castle Black. Sorry for the spoilers. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. If you're watching this, I'm gonna assume you know exactly what's happening in the series or the other books. So. Whoa! Always wanted to see it, but not like this. What a cool looking horse. That none of these is John Snow, is it? No, I don't think so. Your arrival, is it? Another yep. one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. I don't recognize any of these people. <laughs> Alistair Thorn? Anyone? Gren? Samuel? Oh, fuck's sake, here we go, the bullying. Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. No, I'm just. Yes. I, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. I thought for a second that might Frost be Ed. Finger. He's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Well, it makes this one's Frostfinger. So that grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. <laughs> I've seen enough of the world to know that that's true. Use the stairs. Okay then. Let's just get straight to the point. Okay, first finger, I get it. <laughs> because his fingers are. Never mind. Hi! You look like Jamie Lannister. <clears throat> On a bad day. You recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I was a squire. I served Lord Forrester of Ironrath. A squire from Ironrath? Yep. And how does a squire get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. I killed a man who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. Yep. And you're no liar, either, Garrett Tuttle. How do you know my name? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He no, goes no. on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. Oh shit. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Yes, I already Even said that. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. 
Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. He likes me already. But today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. So this happens at the end of season three. Oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Thanks for the foreshadowing, man. No spoilers. So this is at the end. That means that Jon Snow is currently with the Wildlings. But he is gonna come back soon. Last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So Malcolm caught a ship headed for... They give us month-old bread. Ugh, there's fucking worms in it. The Lord White really is about this. Oh, we no. should just take what we need. I'd rather die. The White Hill soldiers always seem to be angry, it's and we have too few men to handle them. Pieces of shit, scum. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Okay. They're gonna confront me now, and I'm gonna get really annoyed, but I'm not going to provoke them. I'm gonna try to keep it. You know what else? No fucking wine. I'm gonna try my there best here. There must be wine in the cellars. Because I'm weak. Degore's locked him up tight, just like his own cunt. He has no fu- There we go. It's just so obvious. Is that him? Yes, hi. Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. Keep walking. He's a Had a run-in with Walder Frey, did ya? I should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is a real first. shame about your leg, my oh, lord. Gives a toss. <laughs> what a dis You're all gonna die. Oh, I can't wait. I hope it's in this episode, but I doubt it. But they are gonna die eventually. The White Hills are nobodies in the books, just like the Foresters, unfortunately. We have business in the Great Hall. What the fuck yeah. are you? Um. Go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. Here we go. It's just something has to happen. You're gonna move, you piece of shit. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? My men may be few, but they'll die before you keep me from my hall. <laughs> That's right. That's right, you pussy. Go on then, my lord. Mm, now we're talking, piece of shit. Don't look at my sister as well. Yeah, how's that? How's that feel? <sighs> Let's go. A fucking badass. I am very slow and crippled, but I am a badass nonetheless. It's madness. You can't starve them I out. I will not cuddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolish. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as Sentinel. My lord. Oh, did I make a mistake by appointing him as a sentinel? Hi! It's me. Oh, poor, poor woman. My boy. Come, join us. Damn right. We need to settle some things. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. He doesn't need help. Uh. Shit. I lost. I wasn't. I wasn't expecting that. Thanks. That's a bit embarrassing, but it's better than falling on the ground, I guess. It's good. <clears throat> it's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. Esther Tengrin doesn't know everything. Oops. Who among us does? Who oh, indeed? You know nothing. Ha ha ha. told me the state of our house. So unappropriate. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. 
He's riling up the Whitehill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies. You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you fool. My lords, please. Oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Sir stole. Sir Roland. Ethan That's... made it clear I wasn't wanted. He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no bloody army. It's because you have no wits. I will have order. That's it. Of course. Apologies, my lord. Fucking the White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've okay. heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Halsey's Helliver, Grayson and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. Fuck the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed Oh as no, not a wedding, a please. Well, uh, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the Union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! He's barely recovered. I'm not ready. My son, I understand your doubts, but if she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Fine. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an ironwood contract. Oh. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just Easy be then. careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Give them wine. I want them dull, not angry. Yes, my lord. Okay. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Wine is not food, so I don't Easter. see the problem. It's time to light the ironwood torches. Oh, yes, generous. my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's good to be back. The only thing worse than funerals is weddings. At least in Game of Thrones. Which is kind Gregor of unfair. Gregor lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. <sighs> How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You're doing great. <laughs> I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. But thank you. <laughs> Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Let's find out. I forgot about that I completely. That that plot point was out of my mind until. It's just I'm I'm so into the story. It's so good. It feels so amazing. Like it's, we're we're into Game of Thrones world. The atmosphere is amazing. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Oh, that's one wedding I'm looking forward to, right here. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. Yeah, and, certainly. Doesn't mm, take... Something nice after that. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A that. lovely sentiment, Mira. <laughs> I should have wrote something nice. Like, get it. Okay, I'm an idiot. Sorry. And the seal. Here you are. 
Why am I doing this? Am I that important? Oh, are there any more invitations to send, oh, or are we spoiled. finally done with the cursed things? I mean, one more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a feeling I know who that is. It must be the Tyrion. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Close enough. Well, he won't come in Thank person. You. My pleasure, Lady Mira. I remember you from the first episode. You were very uh, ominous. What is it, something. Mira? It's from my mother. Well, she asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. You're not supposed to read it on How can you do it? that from a thousand leagues away? Ah, <laughs> it's my help she's after, isn't it? Yep. She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. Yeah, right. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. Yes, I got this. I got I'd better this. get going. That's fine. Mira, we'll talk more later. Yep, see ya. I don't want your help anyway. I have Tyrion. He's nice. So this girl is uh, practically useless so far to her, to her family. Most probably because of me as well, because I'm being an idiot. But she hasn't done absolutely anything to help <laughs> right now. <laughs> she just swore to the king and that's it. Oh no. I if Lady Marjorie... No, 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 no. No, we're not doing that. We I'm are sorry, not... Roderick. We are not doing that. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited... Mira, that, it's gonna be Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard? Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A oh. love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. Okay. If you don't mind. Go ahead, then. Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Oh, fuck's sake. Do you need any help with them? I've got them. No, I don't need your help. You're gonna be so, uh, so shady. I'm glad I didn't do it. She would have, she would have seen me and I would have had to be in, like, uh, in her pocket, so to speak. She could have blackmailed me. Bloody cold today, isn't it? Seems to keep getting colder. Is the Sivan Castle black? They say it'll be a short autumn. Oi, fuckhead! You might be new here, but you're in my spot. How is that so your spot? Move. Or find another spot. Long <laughs> fucking answer. <laughs> Most of you will be dead within the year. <laughs> nice! Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, <laughs> this guy. Listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? No, I the don't wall care. was erected over 8,000 years ago. To defend no. the realm from and I don't care. Wolves, you should. And all the other things. Let like me this guess. girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some rogue. He tried to stick me with this. Okay. I stuck it in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. So is that one guy. You <laughs> fuck potatoes? <laughs> no! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. 
I don't couldn't call resist. me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oops. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Don't fucking talk about my sister, all right? Well, I got sent here for... Who in seven hells is talking back there? Shit. Shit, what? This feels like fucking middle school. Total. Who was it? It was me, obviously. Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. Let me guess I'll be a fucking... So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you... Frostfinger. <gasps> I need a word. There he is. Go on, get started. I like, well, Jon Snow is calling out this guy. Best of luck, Tuttle. Isn't Jon Snow Stewart still at this point in the story? Here we go. Again. Who's up? Okay, I need to choose what to do. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. He's like acting like he's the fucking world commander. What the fuck is happening here? <sighs> Castle Black. Okay, it is Castle Black. So this is home now. Horse. Bet the horse. Yeah. Let's do that. Let this be our first act as a brother. Hey, even though I'm probably not a brother yet. I am a stable boy after all, so it makes sense that he's going for the horse first, actually. Well, he used to be at least. Okay, let's kill someone. I don't like archery, I want to be a swordsman. Let's go. Take that! Take that! Horse, you bloody top! Why are they fighting with real swords? Grab a practice sword. But you have a real one! I guess they have the bone side on Okay, I get it. This one seems nice. This one should do. Okay, this one is not nice. This is bad sort. I'll be sparring with you today. Cool. Remember, let's... these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. But yours is better than mine. Good luck. Thanks. What do I do? Quick time events. <gasps> yep. <gasps> Come on, keep at it. I am. I'm good at this. I'm gonna be a ranger in no time. Ooh. I'm dangerous. Well four. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. Jon Snow seems impressed. Am I gonna fight Jon Snow next? No, he's leaving. So this guy that I just met, he acts tough and he seems like he's uh, my enemy, but he's gonna turn out to be a buddy, just like Grin and Jon Snow were in the beginning. Something like that's gonna happen, probably. You're doing that all wrong. But well, we don't have these, we're like... Oh! <laughs> Mansrader will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. Nice, we're good at everything, apparently. Alright, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. 
Shoot the targets I tell you to. Okay. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target, head. Good. Right target, chest. Not bad. Center, not between the eyes. Not quite the chest, but you get... Them. That's the One less wildling. But it, I think it still works as a... You hit gun. all of them. Nicely done. Of course I hit all of them, it was easy. I'm the best. So I'm basically gonna be a steward after all this. Just like Jon Snow was. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him... Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, alright? I don't think he'd take it kindly. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. We just don't want this shit. Oh my god, why am I put, being put in the middle of this? It's almost like I'm, into, I'm the protagonist of a video game. Where is he anyway? I wanna tell him so I can create drama. Let's go. Let's start some problems. I don't know where he is. Whatever. Well, I won't tell him then. Whatever. Oh, I, there's someone need help here. You there, recruit. Yeah, what's up? Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. Damn right you can. Want some help? <laughs> Fuck you. It's fucking heavy, man. Not bad. That's fine, you're doing fine. I can't believe this is the hardest of the three exercises for him. Fuck you! I'm not gonna give you your knife back. I fucking hate bullies. Don't hurt yourself, Tuttle. Oh, I completed it. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. I'll be a ranger. Just you watch. Not holding my breath, brother. I'm not gonna insult him. I mean, that's, that's, I'm not gonna speak his language, so to speak. He's so beneath me. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Oh no, it? here we go. Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it... I'll cut their fucking balls off. Maybe someone stole it. Who the Giving him fuck a chance to it was admit, you. admit what? Uh, you little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. <laughs> oh, Give shit. me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Got it. Do something. Just calm down. Fight. Oh! Yep. Yep. I won't say it again. If you ever hit me again, I swear up. Okay, I can't put up with this shit anymore. Hey, He's going down. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. Or I'm just gonna defend myself. Uh. 
No, what the fuck? I clicked. Get off the. What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife. No, I didn't. And Garrett defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. Oh, he put it on me. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Oh! <laughs> Get fucking wrecked, you, you scrub! Come with me. Now we're talking. I'm going with the big guns. Of course. Okay. I thought he put the knife on me and he was gonna free me, but I'm I'm glad that's not how it works. I guess even those people are not that twisted with the, all the twists and plot turns and shit, whatever. I don't know where I'm getting at. Okay, let's see, what are we doing? I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. Yeah. You used to love this place. That was before my family died. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. What did you want to talk about? I'm just getting so to, to, the, like, to the point. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Oh no, don't do that. Okay, let's, let's use it. Okay, I don't care. I hope you've got another one of those. <laughs> I never took you for a lush mirror. Yeah, ah, might as well. Sadly, it's just the one. Cersei has like many of those because she's a drunk bitch. A little won't hurt. It's okay. just wine. Let's do it. That's what... Okay, I'm not gonna make that joke. It was offensive. I was <sighs> gonna say something very inappropriate. <laughs> I'm apologizing so, for something I didn't say. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I've been rather quiet in this playthrough, guys. I'm sorry, but it's just I'm enjoying the story and I would rather not talk over the characters, if that's possible. I hope you're liking this video. It's a long video, so... You know, we might as well, well enjoy it. I just... Okay, you really need I'm to get your shit sorted. Sort of thing. You're not Listen, my type. If I tell you this... Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. Yes. I swear, I won't tell a soul. Did you kill the king or something? What, what, what Scott can be so bad? My Just... mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. Oh. She became pregnant. Okay. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. Oh, shit. What twist? I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that, but to always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. What of your father? It's not Loras. Who is he? That's for I sure. don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. How did you get so far? Who else knows about this? Lady Marjorie, her grandmother, mm -hmm. and now you. Thanks. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. That's I need pretty. Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Uh-oh. Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. I can Give do me that. a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. I can't make that promise, Sarah. You could if you wanted. It's not that difficult. I have much bigger problems, Sarah. I need to look out for my family. Okay, that's not how I intended this conversation to go. No. 
You're right. I wanted to help I'm sure her. I would want to look after my family too. Aww. I know your family's troubles are much on. greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. Okay, I don't need to hear this now. You need this more than I do. No, no I don't think I... Uh-oh. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. <laughs> lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies? What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. He likes a good wine, that's for sure. And he knows it's Cersei's, so he's gonna like it even more. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. I took the wine from the cellars. Aren't you full of surprises? I suggest bringing cups next time. <laughs> He's not there gonna are tell. risks worth taking. Stealing wine from the Queen Regent isn't one of them. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My what? father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. Fuck I don't know man. much Scumbag. about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. You can't let that happen. Why do you think I brought it up? Oh. Come with me. He's smart. I These know men think it. I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. Yes, we're doing it. Wow. <laughs> okay. Let's do We've this been shit. waiting here for an hour. Andrew, Co be courteous. courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Don't Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. That much is clear. A friend of Lord Tyrion's. What does that mean? Are we playing games now? She's too modest. <laughs> Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Mira Forrester? I need to be clever around Tyrion. He likes clever Why people. Why are you here? And he... Like a fair it. question. Depends. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. I'm here to sell our ironwood, my lord. Oh, really? Andros. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Yes. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're yes. going to dismiss You can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. Good. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. There's no need to make threats. You have no idea. <laughs> lord Tyrion. Fuck off. Lord Tyrion, Fatso. do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. This guy's more dangerous because he's... Ah, well, well he's that more intelligent. Was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? Um... You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help me stop the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. 
Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. Oh. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? Then that's a risk I'll have to take. I mean, I haven't done anything on this character for the family yet, so I might as well try. I'll consider the arrangement. Good. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Of course, that's Don't how the worry. game is played. The terms will be fair. I need more than that. <laughs> I'll have an answer for you soon enough. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. I better this not will push either him. be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. I hope so too. My lady. Who the fuck are you? Don't look at me like that. I'm not interested in you. Things are gonna go very bad, I think, because of this girl. But I need to take risks, this is Game of Thrones, you can't just be passive. Midget! Hmm. What are we even doing here? Oh. Looking for a fight, that's They were what. headed for the main gate. I know another way. You come in with us then. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. From what? From where? What what's an army plan? of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. I could have offered her to lead them, I guess. But, I mean... What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll have the same us. thing. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. <laughs> okay, shit is gonna go down again. Well, this mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. No, Wait. we don't want to go there. Marine. Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I um, shouldn't have said anything. What are you talking about? I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Oh, okay. Here we go. More budget. Ponte oh. Renas. Maybe not. Don't guy in Josi but Dagon Costotti Daor. Hmm. And there's just this one guy's gonna turn around and see us. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? Okay, we'll kill him and take his armor. Let's do it. No, he's gonna leave. He's not gonna see us. He's not gonna see us. 
I know how this works. There we go. Just one more we'll have to kill later. It's Let's go. Fine. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We oh. need to get out of here. I can sense they the won't drama. Stop looking for us. Ah, she doesn't it's like a long that. journey to Marine on foot. She's I the rude type. Ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Just try to keep up, Uncle. Don't you worry about me. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forester will not survive to see winter. Okay, I see. So we'll spend most of the episodes in, in like in the east on the, with this character, and then maybe in the last episode we'll go back just to walk over all the corpses. <laughs> Okay, what the fuck? I think that soldier on the door really wants a piece of this girl. And he's gonna get a piece of my sword in his ass. And that's not a fucking metaphor. Alright, someone's been in her room. I think it's pretty obvious, girl. Let's go. She, he left. Or she, or whatever. There's no one there anymore. In. Let's just open it. I'm not going all Rambo style. There's no one here. Okay. What were they looking for? Let's check the surroundings first and then we'll read the note. I think there was something here that she'll. Everything's still here. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I don't think this guy was a thief. Maybe he was just looking for a note or something. Maybe a letter. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? What's this? Was someone going through my books? Well, someone needs to learn. Literally. They weren't very subtle. Why would someone do this? Okay, I have a feeling she'll just... We won't get any answers until we just read the note, so let's just do that. Scuff mark. Yeah, we're not getting anywhere right now, so... Unless there's something else there, let's just go next... Let's just go to the bed. Oh, okay, that sounded weird. Just shut up. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Alright. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? I'm interested. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Robber. I pray you're right. Um, Lord Glenmore's army looks... could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. I'll make her agree. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. That was never in question. Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. I just meant that you can... Just remember that you'll want to see gentleness in you too. Not just your... I things. don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice, but this is an important day for all of us. Let me handle this, Mother. You're right. I'm sorry. No, she's just being a sweet mother. Lord, she's here. I got this. I am going to make her fall on her knees and beg me to marry. What, you thought I was gonna say something Roderick? else? <laughs> Hello, dear. Oh, you look sweet. You're basically ready to marry me right now. Uh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> you look... 
You're really... I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. There we go, see, I just... There's still limbs in half a face. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Please. See? Just making the girl laugh in the first 10 seconds of our meeting is just a good sign. That's, you should take notes, guys. This is how you do it. So, here we are. I'm glad to see you up and about. How have you been, Elena? I am not oh, going to do... It's been quiet, cheesy I suppose. Comments. Times have certainly been difficult. But I'm well. Thank you for asking. Good, good. I set out for Iron Wrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. Oh. But now your house prepares for a funeral. Oh, and you that. tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you really? And please be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but I want to know what you're going through. I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I'll be honest with her. I she can knows only me. Imagine. But I'm not looking for pity. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide and seek in the grove and You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. No, well, now we're getting somewhere. But Roderick. I am. Um... I need to ask you something. Uh -oh. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers. White Hill soldiers. Oops. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? <sighs> Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron Man. No, see, I don't he just lie. Wants to assure our loyalty. This is good. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. Yes, you're going to marry me. I always look forward to our marriage. Yes. But in light of all that's happened to your family. No. Please. My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. Fuck your father. <clears throat> he wants me to call it off. What do you want? And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. No, well, no. I don't you... care about your scars, Roderick. That's a I love the boy you were. And I can love the man you are. Good, good. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. But you have to. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. You and I can overcome anything. Okay. I once thought so too. I don't think I don't want to say that. But I have to be practical. Lena. No, 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 no. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Okay, time to step up. Even for you. Let's be practical. When we defeat the White Hills, I'll give your father half of our Ironwood Forest. That's worth a fortune, Roderick. We'll pay it to secure this alliance. I'll need to discuss it with father, but... I'm not gonna say I love you. That's just not gonna work, apparently. Yes. Yeah. I think this will convince him. Good. Perhaps we'll remain allies after all. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but... Yo, the oh, no! Son of a bitch swine. You have no right to just And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. I think it's time you die now. You're Fat not piece of still shit. marrying into this wretched family. Our houses will be joined, in fact. And we will stand proudly beside them. Can Fuck I you. change your mind? You can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. Get out. Now. How rude of you. Your mother's the one who invited me here? That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. 
The youngest son home to mourn his dead father and brother. Ryan belongs at that funeral. This family. Not until I'm certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now I hear you're threatening them and keeping them dull on wine. Well, otherwise they're going to stop me start to question your obedience. <sighs> Lord, enough of this. I do not have to obey. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was a dismissive little shit. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral... I'm gonna sure, cancel lady them, later, yep. you respect your betters. Neil. Neil. Yep. Kiss my shiny ring. That's just not gonna happen. That's just not gonna happen. Just do it, Roderick. No, I'm not gonna do it. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? It's Please. absolutely not it going to happen. nothing, and we'll get to see Ryan again. Go on. Get on your knees. Nope. I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Ramsay Snow said... I know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. Good. As of today, Good. I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. Ramsay's gonna kill you. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Mm. You're defying well, Ramsay himself. I have what I came for. We'll see. I'll leave you to your business. You're dead. You're so dead. You're gonna be flayed. I love it. Bye bye. Oh, by the way. My men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? Mm -hmm. Lord Whitehill, the flayed man. That's what you are. He's gonna make things difficult for both of us, isn't he? I'm glad you didn't let him humiliate you. Good. That's what I was going for. You'd put your pride ahead of your family? No, no. What's poor Ryan going to think? That we've abandoned him. We can't afford to show weakness, Mother. It would have been a minor sacrifice. No! That's the woman's logic. No offense to all ladies that are watching this video. I'm sure there are many of them, but... No, that's just not how it works. I've, I've seen enough Game of Thrones to know how this works. He's dead. My lord. Are you well? Yeah, I'm fine. This fight isn't over. Not even close. <laughs> yes! We're going to kill them all, and then our house is gonna get destroyed because it's not relevant it's in the books. Yeah. First, we're gonna destroy them. Well, I'm already a brother here. Nice. I wanted to see him put down, like, say his vows. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You we did the need same! Those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. Finn's a bully. Couldn't just let him push me around. Fight every bully at Castle Black and that's all you'll ever do. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. You might be right. He said worse about me. He said, you fought for the North with the Foresters. You were there, at the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? The men were too drunk to draw their swords. 
The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honourable death. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the Freys command River Run and the Boltons are Wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. With the nice watch. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor. Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. And they'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. I don't care if they hate me. Let them think what they like. Ignoring them won't be as easy as you think. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. Whoa. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? I want to protect House Forrester. You'll protect them by doing your duty here. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here, where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. Alright, it's not over. I thought the episode might be over because it's very close. I mean, it's been a while now. I don't know how much time, but... I guess we'll see what happens to Mira. Who this... I'm guessing it's from that stalker. That, that guy really seemed very shady, and I think he he might have tricked her into coming there. I'm here, but where are you? With ill intent. But we'll see. I don't know who else it can be, really. I mean, but I'm guessing we'll find out, and it will be a cliffhanger or something. Fortunately, I have episode 3 ready to go, so I'll just play that to maybe tomorrow, so I'll find out! <laughs> oh, okay. I've seen enough of this and... What the hell? Who's there? Who the fuck is that? Oh! Where do you think oh. you're going? At this time of night. I, I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Well, 
Yeah, but you know you're out. This uniform means. It means. It means you serve the Lannisters. So you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Can't I just stay a while longer? Please. Did you not hear me? Oh boy, this is not going well. At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yep, there we go. Yes, sir. Who is this guy anyway? I don't know who Enjoy your night. I hope he wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. Damien. Thank you, Damien. It was my pleasure. You're very shady. You I don't like nuts. this. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Did you search my room? What were you looking for? Nothing, Lady Mira. I only wish to leave you a note. Mm, I don't believe you. I don't trust this guy. What the fuck? Where he? Just, this is very suspicious. I am sorry about this, Mira. But you've made enemies of the wrong people. No, 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 no. A handmaiden should know her place. What people? I'll make this quick if that helps. No, 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 no. I see you suffer. <gasps> Shit! <laughs> nice. Aim for the weapon. Nice. Smart. <laughs> I think I might end up killing this guy. But I will. Let her go. Yes, you're the little boy that. Oh, yes. Okay, yes, yes. Come on, kill him. I don't give a fuck even. I don't care. I'm going to kill him. Oh, this is a choice. I can run or kill him. I can't leave him to die. Okay, I'm not gonna kill him. Good. Okay, I killed him. Wow! I don't wanna let- oh my, I just killed one of the commanders. This is not good. You're- you're on my side. You? Right? What- what- what happened? What- what was that? What does it look like? He tried to kill me! Yeah. How would you do that? Are you serious? The pleading what to be ignorant here? about this. I heard yelling. You were conveniently close. This looks like one of Varys's like uh, boys, spies. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. You had yeah. no choice. I need to get back. Someone might see me. Yeah. I know a few places in Fleetwood. No one will ever find him. We should talk about this later. I'll find you. Good. How the fuck are you even Everything dragging right, him? Uh oh. Don't don't throw the weapon, don't throw the weapon, Damien. don't throw it. Where are ya? Oh I need to hide it. Shit Okay, where do I hide it? Where do I hide it? No, don't. Ah, keep it. Okay, someone is watching me, but it's heavily implied that someone's watching me from there. Okay, there's more. I'm not complaining or anything. I love, I love this game. But then, relatively good shape, at least for dead people. I mean, preserved and no weird shit. Dead bodies. What's Gwyn Whitehill doing here? Oh, the she's no idea. She's the one that Hello, Asher was in love with. Sir Ryland, it's been a while since we've met. Yes. Last time I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. Your father wanted to murder Asher for your little love affair, remember? That was a long time ago. May we speak privately? My lady? Are you a bitch or a nice woman? Roderick, I came here because... 
I know how hard these past few days must have been for you and your family. No, you don't. I know my words probably mean nothing to you. How's that? But all I have. Thank oh. you, Gwyn. I'm oh, so sorry, Roderick. Your brother didn't deserve this. Neither of them did. That's an understatement. Listen. I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage, but I think you deserve some news of him. I know it's little consolation, but if I can offer you this... So you have news of Ryan? Yes, he's well. Not happy, but... Alive. Just know your brother is safe at High Point. I'm looking after him, but... What? The other day he said something that made me worry. He asked me if his father died because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor, oh, like my shit. father says. They're brainwashing him. I don't him. wish to upset you, but I thought you should know. Ryan is strong-willed, like father was. He will not bend. I'm sure you're right, but he feels forgotten, alone. He's waiting for his family, but every day my father tells him they will never come. That they've chosen their pride over him. And with each passing day, those words start to sound like truth. We all think of him every day, trying to find a way to bring him back to us. Will you tell him that? Of course. But if you truly Oops. want to bring Ryan home, this war has to end. You know that. Yes, um... We don't have to be enemies, Roderick. Yeah. Hello, Gwyn. My actions in this episode... It's good to see you, Tanya. ...might complicate things a bit. I hope I can count on your discretion. Sure, you seem nice enough. Roderick. For a white hill. You should speak to mother. Yes, let's do that. She seems upset just like everyone else in this, in this world of Game of Thrones. Come join the others. He should be here. No, she he should be enough. with his family. But instead they send her. Gwen came here on her own. She wanted us to know Ryan is okay. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one, but his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell, saw our lands destroyed, everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. Our family is strong, Mother. We will not fall. Many men are strong, and still the night takes them. Yeah, but that's different. You must be ready to defend us, no, Roderick. Not really. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? Yes. If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds. Okay, no that's... matter what, you must do it. Promise me. It won't come to that. We will defeat them. War asks much of a man that he is not prepared to give. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all stand with us. We are strong. Yes. Yes. I suppose we have to be. She needs to keep it together. We don't know what Catelyn's talking Would you say a few words, my lord? Well, I guess should. My father. He, he was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was always honourable. I never knew better man. And I am... I am sorry. I love you, father. Ethan, my little brother. When I left, he was just a boy. But when his house needed him, he rose to the task, like a lord. He would have been proud. I am proud, even though I... Never mind. I'm not going to ruin this. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester, my husband. 
my love. And our Lord Ethan. My sweet little boy. But now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice. And from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice. Iron, Iron from ice. ice. <laughs> Let's do it. The father first. Interesting blue flames. what's on the next episode even though I'll just play it tomorrow but let us see anyway what is going on Roderick you have to do something Lord Whitehill's son has arrived Griff uh, Whitehill needs to torment us nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove it was bad enough when it was just the soldiers we can't live with them under our roof form up Follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it. All the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about the Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else for you to be worried about? What was that? Holy shit. <laughs> was that the dragons? Okay. Let's see, 77% of players didn't forge Marjorie's letter. You and 70% refused to kiss the ring. You and 47.9% won Roderick Petroto to Elena Glenmore. <laughs> you and 95% stood up to Cotter after he stole Finn's knife. 
You and 93% of players killed Mira's attacker. Okay, let's quickly go through these. First of all, uh, the letter, that's basically a recipe for disaster. You don't want to do that. That's so, it was it's so obvious that that's gonna bite me in the ass. Especially with how it ended with the killing. It's gonna be even more dirt for Mira to handle, so I don't think that was that was a terrible idea. Then, I mean, this, it just, it, it can't happen. It just can't happen. F first of all, we have um, the newly, the, the bride that's there watching. The family is there, soldiers are there, everyone's there. He wants to humiliate me. And then... I knew, I know that this uh, like even if we do kiss the ring, I'm absolutely cons certain, 100%, that he will just smile and say, "I'm gonna take your forest anyway." <laughs> so he's basically just gonna humiliate us in front of everyone and still take the stuff that he wants. But this way, he's defying the Boltons, and I'm I'm very hopeful since we know that Ramsey and Roose Bolton they they won't die in this game. We can't kill them, but at least this guy needs to be. The, dealt with in a very swift and painful way and I hope that Ramsey is the one to do it it would be poetic justice and well it would be nice if we can do it personally but I, I don't know I kind of doubt it but I will kill this person first chance I get if I if I do get one that's for sure the the marriage I mean that just shows you I mean I'm a fucking player I mean, what can I say not this is the only one that uh, the only choice where I am a bit different from the others like um, everything else seems to be pretty straightforward everyone seems to be doing the same thing but here people are a bit the results are a bit mixed because people are just they don't have my charm what can i say i'm just good with, with girls in video games yeah yeah 95 percent stood up to cotter i mean that's not good that's not what you want to do if you're gonna steal from your brothers i mean that guy is a like a complete prick him, but we've we've seen many like him in other games and movies and in life of course there's many people like him he's probably not that bad he just very insecure or something i don't know we'll see maybe i'm wrong maybe he is a upright a straight up dick but we'll see but that's not a good start you don't want to start your relationship with your new brothers by stealing from them that's just not what you want to do we'll see what happens there uh and we killed the attacker that's just there's no way i'm gonna leave that guy to die Besides, if he tried once, he'll try again, and this was my best opportunity to deal with it. I mean, it's gonna be shit going down anyway, so I might as well deal with one problem <laughs> instead of have to deal with more than one problem later or something. I don't know. That's how I see it. But yeah, that's basically my view on all these decisions and all these outcomes, and we'll see how that... From eyes, from eyes, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna skip this, because I just wanna say a few words and I'm done. And basically... From the ending, especially that singing and showing all the characters was very beautiful and everything. And I just have to say that I, if this family doesn't have at least somewhat of a happy ending, I will be very pissed. I mean, we under I understand they are not in the books, they're not on the TV show, they're a minor house that's just been chosen to be represented in this game. So for the sake of, you know, story and, you know, game, games to come out. But still, that, that means also, that, that yes, that means that they won't rise to prominence and take over the kingdoms, kingdoms, yes, but they will also doesn't necessarily mean that they'll get annihilated just because they're not in the in the books. The White Hills are also not there. I mean, characters like Ramsey or Cersei or Jon Snow, we, we know that these characters are, are gonna be unchanged. We, we will not influence those characters in any way physically or just verbally to the point where they change their outcome or like destinies, so to speak, based uh, compared to the books. But other like minor new characters like the White Hills can be very easily annihilated and I really hope that happens. Because they're fucking assholes. So I'm ha I'm hoping that I mean I'm sure more people will die. People will die from this. Maybe from the playable characters too. But I hope that by the end there is somewhat of a happy ending for these people. We'll see. But yeah, the good good episode. I liked it. Um, the game is really nice. I I'm very surprised that I liked ended up liking the Tales from the Borderlands game more than this. That doesn't mean that this game is bad, not at all, I love it. I love Game of Thrones and I, I just feel, especially compared to some of the other Game of Thrones games that were released in recent years, which were pretty bad, but this one really makes me feel like I'm in there. I, I feel like I'm in the middle of things. I feel the Game of Thrones atmosphere all around me. Westeros, Essos, whatever. It's, it's very nicely done. But I've already said this, so Telltale Games can do that very well. 
And uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. There's no point to talk much about this because I'm gonna be playing episode 3 pretty much within the next few days and I'm gonna upload it as well in one video just like this episode and then a few days after that I will basically play episode 4 which will be brand new at that point so I will be on like on the same level as everyone else because now I'm a bit behind with this game so yeah thank you guys for watching so much I hope you watched this entire video even if you don't watch it all at once but you watched the different moments uh, different sections whatever uh, that's still good I appreciate it very much uh, leave a like, comment and subscribe if you liked it, if you like my videos in general, if you haven't seen them, make sure to check them out, I've left a link in the description, and uh, yeah, until next time, take care and uh, I'll see you in the next video, bye bye.